Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome guys to the channel Mathematics Warehouse. Today we have lesson 14 one. It's about solid figures and nets. We have an objective to classify solid figures and represent them by their nets. At first example, solve and share. What would the unfolded and the flat box of dog biscuits look like? Here he wants me to draw a diagram to represent this unfolded box. If you notice here, this box in a shape of rectangular prism. The rectangular prism has six faces. This is a rectangular prism, it has six faces. And we can count. We have four-sided faces. We have four-sided faces and we have two bases. One up, one down. So if we unfold this rectangular prism would have six faces. See, count how many faces. We have six faces. Those faces are rectangles or sometimes we have some squares. Okay, so we can unfold this shape, this solid figure into a planar shape consists of six faces each face is a polygon okay we can unfold this to be six faces it can take the shape like we just said like six faces all of them almost are rectangles so it can be like this so now, a polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure made of flat polygon-shaped surfaces called faces. The line segment where two faces intersect is called an edge. The point where several edges meet is called the vertex. So, as you can see here, the edge is a line segment here in which two faces intersect. And this point in which two edges intersect, we call it vertex. And the, the planar side, we call it face. We have two different types of polyhedrons, prisms and pyramids. The prism has two parallel bases and we name the prism according to the shape of its bases. But the pyramid, it has only one base and we name the pyramid according to the shape of this base. And also, as you can see, the pyramid, it has vertex up, we call it top. Question number one, explain the difference between a vertex and an edge. As we defined before, a vertex is the point in which two edges intersect, but an edge is the line segment in which two faces intersect. So, an edge is the line segment where two faces join or intersect, but a vertex is the point where three or more edges join. Number two, explain the difference between a pyramid and a prism. As we said, prisms have two parallel bases, but pyramids have one base. In three and four, identify each solid from its net. Here we have at number three, because we have just one base, so we have a pyramid. We name the pyramid according to the shape of its base. So we have a square pyramid. At number four, we have two bases, triangular shape. So we have pyramid or prism. Of course, we have prism, triangular prism. Independent brackets. Identify each solid from its net. Number five. We just said the same. Here we have one base in square shape. So we have a pyramid, not a prism. And therefore, we have a square shape. So we have a square pyramid. Number six. Also here we have one base, triangular shape. So we have triangular pyramid. Number seven. We have two bases, triangular shape. So we have a prism. So we have triangular prism. The Swiss mathematician Euler and the French mathematician Descartes both discovered a pattern in the number of edges, faces, and faces of polyhedrons. Complete the table, describe a pattern in the table. Number one, triangular pyramid. How many faces are there in triangular pyramid? Try to imagine the shape of triangular pyramid. In triangular pyramid, we have 
four faces the base in the shape of pyramid and the three other sides in the shape of pyramid so we have total four faces and also we have four vertices three down and one up so we have four vertices now this rule asking me to add number of faces to number of vertices so 4 plus 4 equals 8 edges number of edges count we have three edges down and from each vertex down to the top we have another three edges so total we have six edges by the same way complete the table rectangular pyramid we have five faces in rectangular pyramid five vertices so the sum would be 10 and how many edges eight also in triangular prism we have five faces and six vertices so add it would be 11 so number of edges we have nine edges rectangular prism we have six faces and eight vertices so add it's 14 and number of edges 12 what did you notice yes the number of edges is 2 less than the sum of the number of faces and vertices. So describe the pattern. So we can say the number of edges here is 2 less than. If you subtract 2 here, every time you would get the number of edges. So at number 9, write an equation that relates the number of edges to the number of faces and vertices. We can say number of edges equals number of faces and num plus number of vertices all minus 2. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa